Hi guys, Harley in Taiwan here again. As you can see, I only moved over like 50 yards. So uh, I want to continue the story about this Jiang Hui Hui, this uh, photo model who I got to know in a pub. Uh, if you are interested, interested. <coughs> so I told you I was going to take her back at, to home at about six o'clock in the morning, which I did. Wow. And um, what happened was, I, she gets onto my bike and I start to go and it turns out there is no gas. Okay. So I go to the gas station and that particular gas station started at about 7. So we go to that gas, sta gas station and as I'm sitting on my bike, this beautiful girl is practically leaning on my back and sleeping behind me. So waited until it was 7, I didn't even wake her up, I got some gas and I started to go towards uh, TMU, which I knew where it was, but I had no idea where she lived. So uh, for a while I could go do it myself, then I had to start to elbow her a little bit and say, hey, which way to go? And she said, right, left, left, right. And basically I just followed what she said and I did get to, to, get to her place. Now, we became friends, uh, actually for a short while, you know, I didn't have a girlfriend at that time, for a short while I was actually kind of in love with her, but uh, it never was mutual, we were just good friends, I was pretty much in the friend zone, unfortunately, and um, so many times she, she called me actually, and we just went out together, you know, rode out together, or sometimes she actually called me, she wanted to go somewhere and I, I was like almost like an ad hoc uh, taxi driver or something on my uh, 90cc scooter, uh, a 120 uh, uh, no, it was a 90cc scooter at that time, yeah, a very small one. So anyway, once uh, we go to, you know, I'm actually taking her again, probably home, and at one intersection I ask her, hey, do you want to ride? And she's like, yeah, why not? So I let her ride and boom, right away she turns left at a place where you are not supposed to turn left. And guess what? There are like 10 policemen over there. There's 10 policemen over there and waiting for just for us and for some other guys who did the same thing. So it was a young fellow, a young policeman who, who caught us and then the fun began. This girl started to act, okay? She started to tell her, tell the guy, oh, we are so sorry, officer, you know, we, we normally don't do this, and whatever, we would never do, but you know, hey, don't punish me because I don't have any money. Um, she even pulled out her purse and showed it to the policeman and showed her, hey, I don't have any money, you know, hey, please help me. And um, we got to the point that the policeman, of course, was marveling at her beauty, and the policeman said, hey, I cannot take your money. I was like, great, fantastic. But then guess what happened? She's, he's saying, uh, he, sta uh, he uh, uh, no, the policeman actually says, uh, uh, do you need to, you know, uh, do you need some money to borrow? And I was like, what the fuck? But then it didn't end. And there, the policeman started to write something. And I was like, oh great. So now she's not paying anything but she is basically giving us a ticket so I'm gonna pay for it what's the ma well, you know what's the difference nothing but when she, when the policeman finished writing what he was writing he, he told he gave it to her and said this is my name and address call me sometimes when you can and I was like you gotta be kidding what kind of police is that anyway we, we left and after like a week or two I'm minding my own business going through a busy intersection, you know, all according to the law, and suddenly a policeman uh, whistles, you know, blows into her his whistle and basically makes me stop. I'm stopping, panicking, you know, what the hell is going on? And it turns out that this was this policeman. And he's telling me, hey, how are you doing? Have you seen your friend lately? How is she? I almost backed up and ran over that idiot. Um, I was really pissed off, but of course I was smiling and I told her, hey, she is good, I haven't s seen her for a while, whatever, but I mean, first not giving a ticket, 
and giving name and address and then actually making me stop and asking me about her, where she is. I mean, welcome to Taiwan, guys. Anyway, as you see, I got to the, uh, the office. I stopped for a second so I can finish my story. I'm going in, so thank you for listening. I have many more stories to come if you're interested. Uh, if this is the first time you're here, don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.